I also want to talk a little bit about the role of the nervous system. So Sjogren's and the nervous system often go hand in hand. That frustrating brain fog, it's not just in your head. Sjogren's can also directly affect our nervous system in a number of ways. It can cause peripheral neuropathies, can affect the nerves in our hands, our feet, face, can lead to something called sensory ganglionopathy. It's a strange asymmetric numbness that can occur. And it often can cause something called small fiber neuropathy, which can present as painful burning or tingling. It also can be a cause of something called dysautonomia, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a second. Often small fiber neuropathy is going to require either a skin biopsy or something called a QSART test to diagnose. Sjogren's also can affect our central nervous system, our brain and our spinal cord. This can lead to some cognitive dysfunction like brain fog, but also mood disorders, headaches, and in some cases, it can mimic conditions like multiple sclerosis or MS. And here's something that's really important and often gets missed and something you won't always find in the textbooks. These neurologic complications are far more common than often are reported. And why? It's because conditions like small fiber neuropathy are really difficult to diagnose. Symptoms like brain fog, headaches, and dysautonomia, which is when your automatic nervous system is going haywire, can encompass things like POTS, difficulty sweating, changes in pupil size, problems with motility of our gut, these often aren't necessarily counted when researchers tally up neurologic involvement. It's a huge gap in our understanding and a source of a lot of frustration for many patients. Understanding the immunology of my own Sjogren's was definitely a turning point for me. It helped me realize that my symptoms weren't random or weakness, were all in my head. They were the logical, biological outcome of specific immune system processes. And that knowledge was the first step in shifting from feeling like a victim of my body to becoming an active and empowered partner in my own care. As a physician, this deep understanding is why I am relentless detective for my patients. It's why I look beyond just the dryness. I ask about the fatigue, the pain, the brain fog, because I know that these are not separate issues. They're all interconnected and all related to the same underlying immune system dysregulation, things being off kilter. 